So here's the deal with the flag burning thing. Prior to me enlisting in the military, I was proud of, of my heritage. My, my family's been here since the 1600s, and I was proud to call myself an American, but that was really about it. Once I got into the military, things happened. Life-changing things happened. Things that are with me to this day. Uh, the military gave me an opportunity to learn a lot about myself and learn a lot about this country and the world and why America is a superpower and why America has to be involved in the world stage because prior to that I was for us being isolationists I really thought we should just butt out of everything and I, I really did some I did some growing up in the military and I I, I, I just I learned a lot um, I, I'll, I'll say that being much much older now uh, some of the stuff that I didn't quite understand then has come back to me and it, it makes a whole lot more sense. And if anything, my feelings of patriotism are stronger now at 46 than they were at 19. But when I was 19, we did a lot with flags, not just the American flag, but military flags. There's a flag called the Guidon and so on and so forth. The, you know, you salute the, the ship's ensign when you request permission to come aboard and the list just goes on and on and on. Morning colors. Uh, you know, everybody stops and what they're doing and points in the direction of the flag and salutes and, and at the sunset you, you lower the, the flag and just a lot of stuff re involving flags, in particular the American flag, but flags in general. There was something about it, somebody might say, they brainwashed you. Well, if that's what you want to say, say what you want to say, I don't care. But there's something about it that it, it, it stayed with me since. And I look at the American flag as not just uh, a beautiful thing, um, but as a symbol of America, the symbol of America, more so than an eagle or any of the monuments or our money or, or anything else. Uh, looking at the original copy of, of, of the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution or something, the flag symbolizes America to me more so than anything else. Our flag is on the moon for Pete's sakes. So, for me, it, it's, it's, it, 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 it brings out some really strong feelings in me that have been with me since then. And like I said, it's only gotten stronger. So I get very protective, very defensive of the flag. Now some people look at the flag and they think of America and they start thinking of all the negative things about America and they, they look at it from the standpoint of politics today or some stupid law that's out there or any of the negative stuff. We have poverty here like anywhere else or, or, or we have our own problems like anywhere else or some things aren't fair like you know you hear me complain about income taxes right. That's not the America I'm talking about. The America I'm talking about is the leader of the free world, the greatest country that has ever existed, the country that had the guts to break away from, from the most powerful country on the planet at that time, the most powerful military at that time, was, was what we had to face. And our country has gone through lots of ups and downs to get to where it is today. And people can criticize our past, but when they do that, they're typically judging it by modern standards. And that's not very intelligent. It really isn't. It shows how narrow-minded and ignorant you are. And it also shows that you lack an appreciation for the, the sacrifice of so many people, not just the military, but so many people that have come before us, that have made the sacrifices, that have made this country what it is. And I can't convey that enough in words. And I can't say that if you were in the military like me that you would feel the same way. But when I see somebody burn a flag on public property I'm not talking about stealing a, a, a flag off a flagpole that was paid for with our tax dollars, even if it's a flag that they purchased themselves, even if it was a flag made in China, which is, that should be illegal too, but whatever. It just, this feeling comes out of me and I feel like you just threatened the life of one of my children. And that's about the closest I can, I can, I can 
uh, compare it to for somebody who doesn't understand. So I don't want somebody to think that uh, uh, the, these feelings just come out of nowhere and I'm just, I'm just this hardcore right wing kind of, no, this is something more to me. This is something more to me. And I don't look at burning the flag as hate speech. I don't look at burning the flag as, uh, uh, I, I understand it's freedom of expression. I served in the military so somebody has the right to do that. And especially if it's on your property and you paid for the flag, then I, in some ways I do support that. But that's just it. When it's out in public, I don't know, it just does something to me. And I look at it as a form of being unpatriotic to the worst degree. This would be no different than, than joining the enemy's military or, or terrorist organization and teaching them how to fight against Americans. Or th this is kind of like when you have these loudmouths get on TV and say, if so-and-so gets elected, I'm moving to Canada. Move to Canada, you traitor. And that's what I kind of, I feel like it's an act of treason. It's, a, it's, it's, it's just lower than low. Uh, I don't expect people to completely understand. I'm trying to say it as best as I can. But for me, I am a freedom-loving individual. I'm not completely like this anarchist, libertarian kind of, uh, you know, we can do anything, anywhere, anytime. No, I, I do believe there needs to be a certain set of standards and a certain amount of, of order to our lives. But I also think that as long as we're not hurting someone else and as long as we're on our own property, there are a lot more things that we should be able to do without threat of, of prosecution or persecution. And I understand that it sounds hypocritical for me to say that, but then say, I can't stand watching somebody burn the American flag. And I'm not talking about properly disposing of the flag under the, the flag code. I'm also kind of loose on the flag code. I like to see a light sh shine on the flag at night, but if you want to put it on your clothing or something like that, I don't have an issue with it, even though that does violate flag code. So some people could might have a stronger feeling about it than me, and it might, might be for different reasons. But the whole thing I guess I'm trying to get at is, even if you don't agree with me, I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. And I don't know if saying all this has got anybody to understand me a little bit better, but my, my love for the flag has nothing to do with politics or any of that other stuff. It's, it's, about, it's about our country as a whole, our country, past, present, and future, our country, the greatest country on the earth, our country, the leader of the free world, our country, the place where everybody wants to come and be here for whatever reason, our country, the place that I am blessed to have been born in and get to live in and I don't have to live in one of those other places that I've been to when I was in the military and saw how these people lived and I'm so grateful that I could be here despite our problems, despite any of the things that even I complain about. I love America and that flag, I just, I, I hold it very dear to me. Thank you for listening.